I have one of the greatest American comedic actresses in the world, Miss Victoria Jackson, is here. Thank you so much for being here. Thank you. That was an impulse buy. You were like at the checkout counter of comedy. <laughs> you said, all right, everyone, great to meet you. Stand-up comedy, everyone. Who wants to go? Rich. I had my name tag. Give us five minutes of stand-up comedy. I think that there, you have a teacher's heart. I mean, you could recognize you could recognize that right away, and I got so much out of it. Where's the applause on here, Jim? I'm not- oh, there you go. That's incredible. I like applause. <laughs> Who doesn't? I've become addicted to the videos. Yeah? What videos? The narcissist videos. Are they on YouTube? Uh-huh. You know what else I, is on YouTube? I'm tired. I'm <laughs> in skirts and sensible attire. I want to wrestle in the mud and dance to a perspire. And you're dancing? You can't imagine your life without these people, and they just make your life better, and they have skill sets that you don't have, mm -hmm. and they complete you. And that's Jim McCarthy right there. My next guest Can I is. Just apologize for my bangs, because you see how they're crooked. What did? Are you not happy with your hairstylist? I cut them. Myself, oh, you did it yourself. My hair thing is tomorrow, and I couldn't wait because they're in my eyes. So I. But did you leave a couple of them extra long? Is accident, that like a thing? By oh. accident. Was it a dark room? Mm -hmm. I did it in the car. Are you turning Japanese? <laughs> you know, my friend produced that song, Turning Japanese. I think I'm turning, yeah. That's a great song. Yeah. I said, you want to audition for Saturday Night Live tomorrow? There's a ticket. Tomorrow. Tomorrow. And tomorrow. Yeah. <laughs> How many times had you, had you been on Johnny Carson at this point? 20 times in total, right? Mm -hmm. Which is a massive accomplishment. This is well, fantastic. A shorthand, that meant very good young lady. We're going to have means, you back. Okay, you're going to have a going to or not. So if you bomb, you get nothing. You go maybe like a wink or a nod. Yeah. But you didn't bomb. You never did. But I'm sure there are some people that do. I don't know. Do you think? I, or maybe, you know, you know, we're so hard on ourselves as creatives. Yeah. We come off, the, oh my God, that was horrible. But the, the real challenge is, even when we're not happy with what we did, to not do that. Just come, because no one, a lot of people don't notice. I've been a working mother and, and it's... There's guilt. Well, you should... I, and I have three grandchildren. Wow. One's adopted from Chinese, and um, she's deaf, so we are all learning sign language. Oh, wow, that's a big learning curve. Yeah, I love sign language, yeah. though, especially singing. Mm -hmm. Singing. But anyway, because um, if you're singing sign language, it's kind of like ballet, but you don't, your legs don't get tired. You know? That is a, mm -hmm. That's a massive cook. A deaf child. Please give me some snacks today. Some, hey, boo -boo. some uh, tourists that are overweight and maybe some... <laughs> Crispy cream leftovers in the garbage can. You're in the right town for overweight tourists. Yeah. Jason Aldean's band. I w I've been there 20 years. 20? Yeah. 20 wow. years. This is a good job in the music That's business. awesome. That's my 20, the magic 20, right? The 20 times on Carson. But that's Carson. so great because usually people have to, you know, keep looking for gigs. Yeah. It's a fun, fun place with the, you know, where a bunch of guys have traveled the world together and finished each other's sentences and we've been to each other's oh, weddings. And is he still a fire eater? Does he make he made a, a lifelong career of this? Does he does so he does like corporate parties and yeah, but he only got like about one gig a year. Yeah, mm -hmm. so uh, he it's made, hard to raise a family on exactly. Yeah. He made about a hundred dollars a year. I saw his income tax return. <laughs> so so but did he take a leap forward? Is he doing better now? I said yes. He's a fire eater. That's my fault. You got to write a song to that really quick. Can I put you on speaker? I'm doing a podcast. Okay. <laughs> he doesn't want to be on speaker. <laughs> Okay, I'll call you back. After like 30 years, I think it's just autopilot. Yeah, I don't know. Are they volatile? No, they're not volatile. I mean, my mom's passionate. There's still chemistry There's, there? Yes, yeah, my dad. I, I would assume that my mom is crazy about my dad, but my dad is crazy about my mom, Patty. Patty, oh, I love, he loves oh, Patty. So he, you know, and he buys her jewelry and they go on cruises. Oh. And Now, when you were coming into the house, you noticed that my Creatures from the Black Lagoon movie poster, because I'm a huge horror film monster fanatic, and you said your dad was in that film? Yeah. That's crazy. His only film. He was the extra who was the underwater swimming guy in black trunks. One of the two who was chasing the creature. That's amazing. And they had to squirt milk that was supposed to be poison to kill a creature and they're squirting milk. Wow. So it would look a certain way on the film. Yeah. Now, where was that film? Because you're from... In Florida. Okay. You're from Florida. Yeah, I'm from Miami, but he was uh, he was from Chicago and he liked bikini. Uh, he, I can't he, believe I'm on here. He, he, he. <laughs>
Well, you That's told me, Rich, there's 10 types of comedy. You were so self-deprecating. You said, there's 10 types of comedy. I suck at nine of them. I That's what you told me. She said, which one am I good at? You said, I'm good at being me. And then that's where the funny. I know how to be funny by being a heightened version of myself, which oh. is amazing advice. Wow. What a good teacher. You are an amazing teacher. <laughs> He's telling you you should keep going with it. You should keep teaching. Uh, right. yeah. When did you start being a performer? I started playing drums in 1976. So people were like, how long have you been playing drums? I'm like, wow. Um, 42 years? Wow. Yeah. And, then, you know, I mean. What made you start? I think. You know how we have a calling? I think it's just like, it's just a, a gift. And then the sooner you can recognize it, the better, because the earlier you recognize it, the harder you can jump in head first and start putting in the hours. And yeah, that's what my dad told me. He goes, what do you want to be when you grow up? Because the earlier you can start training for it, the better. Amazing. Hey, you think it's funny that my ex was a fire eater? Oh, I think it's hilarious. Your ex was a psychic. That's right. <laughs> Hey, you know, we, it's crazy. Psychic. Oh, yeah, yeah, that's, right. that's crazier than eating fire. I'm talking to dead people. How far did the thing go down? Like, Well, it's a trick. But he didn't tell me the trick except that uh, you put... Like, it's not going the side of your face. No. no it's no. <laughs> da <Da-da. laughs> no. My husband was a helicopter pilot for the police. Mm. And he had to do four things. Yeah, pedals. Just pedals. Pedals. Hand. There's two hand things. And he had to look down, chase the bad guy, keep the thing in the air. So Helicopters scare me because I always think to myself, there's no risk of my head being chopped off. I'm only 5'7", but like it just shits over your head. And I'm just like, oh, I can just see my head being just chopped off by that thing. Well, I hated the part Freezing. where your feet are touching a piece of plywood. And yeah. underneath that is nothing. nothing. Yeah. <laughs> Shazam! Yeah. <laughs> Subscribe, rate, and follow along at richredmond.com forward slash podcasts.